beautiful blonde women are chosen to be sacrificed by their tribe. When one escapes, she gets hunted down to complete the ritual, forcing her to survive the dangerous wilderness alone. On top of a mountain, the cliff tribe is dressed in animal skin and carries primitive weapons. They gather around a sacrificial altar, where blonde women will be sacrificed to the sun god in exchange for protection from the dinosaurs that prey on them. As the tribesmen prepare for the ritual, three beautiful blonde women stand before them with sun markings on their foreheads. Among the sacrificial offerings is Sana, who clenches her fist, furious at their tribe's unnecessary and barbaric ritual. As the sun appears, one of the blondes shrieks and attempts to escape. However, as she tries to run from the hunters, she falls off the cliff and lands on a rock, ending her life. Kingzer, the leader of the cliff tribe, tells his people to hurry because the sun is coming up. As the sun rises, he tells Kane, a warrior from his tribe, to take the women's white capes off, which is a formal way of getting them ready for the ritual. All of a sudden, the sun turns red and a strong wind blows, so everyone in the tribe clings to the rocks. However, Kane and a tribal elder fall off the cliff, but only the warrior survives. While everyone is trying not to get carried away by the wind, Sana takes the opportunity to escape. She slowly stands up, descends from the cliff, and then jumps into the sea. As she struggles to swim, she encounters fishermen from another tribe. One of the fishermen, Tara, dives into the water to save her life. Tara looks at the blonde woman after they return to the raft and is immediately enamored by her beauty. Little did they know that Kane witnessed everything from his vantage point. After the Cliff Tribe's cancelled ritual, Kingzer is confused by the appearance of the moon and then calls for another batch of blondes to be sacrificed. Suddenly, Kane arrives and informs him of what he witnessed at sea. Kane uses white paint on a stone to inform them that Sana will probably be taken to the neighboring tribe. Meanwhile, Tara takes Sana to the camp of the seaside tribe, where she sees a captured pleshosaur that the tribe hunted for food. As they arrive ashore, Tara's brunette girlfriend, Ayak, rushes to greet him, but is quickly confused upon seeing Sana. As the tribesmen grow curious about Sana's appearance, chief tribesman Amon arrives and approves of her. Suddenly, the Plesiosaur breaks free, prompting the tribe's warriors to attack it. After saving one of their people, the tribesmen quickly put burning rafts around the dinosaur. However, the enraged creature disregards them and continues forward. One of Terra's fellow fishermen, Kaku, pokes a hole in the stock oil container so it can leak. Seeing this, Tara throws a torch to set the Plesiosaur ablaze. After taking the creature down, the tribe celebrates their success and eats the dinosaur's meat. After Amon sees the moon in the sky, he orders the tribesmen to put out their torches so they can start their tribal dance. Later, Ayak joins them, but she then notices that Tara is gazing at Sana, making her jealous. While Sana builds her own hut, Tara arrives and gives her food. As they head inside, Tara hands her his dagger to cut the food. When he notices that she is interested in his bow necklace, he takes it off and offers it to her, which she accepts after initial hesitation. Afterward, Sana informs Tara of her fate and the cliff tribe, stating that she is a sacrificial offering. He then removes the sun mark from her forehead, implying that she is now safe from being sacrificed. Suddenly, the jealous Ayak appears behind Tara, prompting him to return to the celebration. Before sleeping, Sana admiringly examines the bow necklace that Tara gave her. The next morning, Kingzer orders the search for Sana to execute her, and he brings the whole tribe along in his quest. Meanwhile, Tara startles Sana awake and then offers her the three fish he caught that morning. Afterward, Kaku calls him so they can catch more fish. As Kingzer travels with his tribe, the sun suddenly sets, prompting everyone to worship it. Meanwhile, at the seaside, the tribesmen notice that the moon has gone, and Ayak suspects that Sana has something to do with it. Enraged, Ayak rummages through Sana's hut and finds Tara's necklace and dagger, deducing that she stole them. When they see Sana, Ayak invites the other tribeswomen to confront her by the sea. As Ayak accuses her, Sana tries to defend herself, but the furious brunette follows her into the water, attempting to attack her with a dagger. Sana tries to escape, but Ayak follows her to the sea, attacking her with a beast's sharp tooth. As they tussle in the water, Ulido arrives to interrupt the fighting women. Then, Amon arrives, finally ending the fight. After returning to the shore, Ayak informs the tribe leader that Sana stole Tara's dagger and necklace, but the blonde woman explains that they were given to her. Hearing this, 
Amon believes Sana and orders Ayak to return the items, but the petty woman throws them into the sand. Eventually, Ulido grabs the items and hands them nicely to the blonde woman. Suddenly, Kingzer and his tribe finally arrive to look for Sana. Seeing her former tribe mates from her hut, Sana wears the bow necklace and quickly escapes so they won't catch her. Meanwhile, Ayak informs Kingzer of the blonde woman's whereabouts by pointing to her hut. However, when Kane checks the hut, he only finds Sana's footprints, prompting him and the rest of the tribe to follow them. As Sana runs to the jungle, she immediately climbs a tree so that her former tribe won't see her. However, while she's standing on the tree, a snake crawls on her body. She tries her best to keep calm so that the snake will leave her alone. When the snake finally reaches the ground, it attacks one of the tribesmen. After failing to save their fellow tribesmen, the others spot a cave where they suspect Sana is hiding. However, as they call out Sana's name, a wild Chasmosaurus appears. The creature attacks Kane with its horn, severely injuring him. Vultures suddenly arrive, so the Chasmosaurus cowers in fear and returns to its cave. Meanwhile, the moon appears, and the fishermen arrive from their trip. Upon seeing Tara, Aya quickly approaches him and tells him of Kingzer's arrival and Sana's escape. The following day, Tara organizes a search party to look for the cliff tribesmen and Sana. When they arrive at the jungle, they find the fallen tribesmen and the injured Kane, who points to the dinosaur cave. After Kaku enters the cave, the Chasmosaurus attacks him, leaving him in critical condition. After bringing him to a safe place, Tara proceeds to get rid of the dinosaur. He runs near the cliff and leads the creature to slide and fall. Upon returning to Kaku, Tara mourns after realizing that his friend has already passed away. That night, Tara brings their beloved Kaku to the shore and holds his funeral. As the tribe pays respect to his lifeless body, the tribesmen pour some stock oil around him. Amon then orders the tribesmen to pull the raft into the sea and set it on fire. Realizing what happened to the tribesmen, Kingzer shouts, blaming Sana for everything that has happened. Hearing this, Ayak takes a torch and then burns the blonde woman's hut, prompting Tara to stop her. Afterward, a tribal frenzy ensues, where the tribesmen shout at the moon and roll on the sand. With the chaos around him, Tara runs away, hoping to find Sana. Alone in the jungle, Sana spots a triceratops from afar. To hide, she goes inside a large plant, only to discover that it's carnivorous. As she struggles to get out, she uses Tara's dagger and cuts off a chunk of her blonde hair to escape. When Tara arrives in the forest, he discovers Sana's hair strands on the ground near the man-eating plant. He then cries, assuming that Sana has been eaten and has passed away. As Sana walks further, she finds an area filled with dinosaur eggs, then seeks shelter in a megalosaurus eggshell. After the thunder roars, one of the eggs hatches, revealing a baby megalosaurus. Meanwhile, Tara returns to the tribe and shows them Sana's hair, informing them of her passing. Happy with such news, Kingzer immediately takes the blonde hair and throws it in the bonfire. Then, Kingzer delivers the news to Kane in the hut, where he is being treated by Ulido. The following day, the mother megalosaurus arrives home with food for her offspring. Upon seeing Sana in the eggshell, the creature assumes that she is her offspring and then offers her a buck to eat. Back at the seaside, a tribal elder monitors the phases of the moon on a stone. After a few days, Kane marries Olido and gives her a bone necklace. This ceremony also marks the merging of the cliff tribe and the seaside tribe. Seeing this, Tara remembers giving Sana a bone necklace as a sign of love and admiration. Elsewhere, Sana trains a baby Megalosaurus, which she treats like her sibling. She feels accomplished when the creature complies with her simple instructions. Following this, she goes to a nearby lake to catch a fish. Suddenly, she hears a loud noise from nearby. As she follows the sound, she discovers Tara and Kane attacking the mother dinosaur with a spear. To intervene, Sana hides behind a rock and instructs the dinosaur to stop. This allows the men to escape, unaware of the woman who just saved them. Upon returning to the cliff tribe, Tara notices that the tribe's women have blonde hair, which reminds him of Sana. As he walks further, he sees one woman secretly dyeing her daughter's hair black with tar to keep her from being chosen as a sacrifice. As he touches the woman's hair, a tribesman arrives to invite him to another side of the cliff and then points him in another direction. After Tara leaves, the man interrupts a different tribeswoman and gets intimate with her in an isolated area. Meanwhile, Tara ventures to the empty area, but a pterodactyl grabs
crabs and takes them to its nest as food for its offspring. To escape, Tara injures the creature's wing and pushes it off the cliff. After their intimate moment, the tribeswoman throws her partner's spear away jokingly, prompting him to get it. As he retrieves his spear, he sees a megalosaurus chasing a woman from afar. Tara also sees this, so he runs to rescue Sana. Tara tries to use his spear to attack the dinosaur, but Sana grabs his weapon and stops the creature from attacking, informing the man that the dinosaur is a kind creature. After reuniting with Tara, Sana invites him to her cave near the waterfalls, where they spend intimate time with each other. Meanwhile, the other tribesman returns to the seaside and informs Kingzer that Sana and Tara are together. After swimming with Sana in the lake, Tara returns to the seaside, where his tribe has been waiting for him. They interrogate him about the woman's whereabouts, but the hunter lies, claiming that she has already passed away. However, Amon and Kingzer do not believe him because the tribesmen witness that she's still alive. As a result, the tribe leader wants him to be executed. They tie him to a raft and set him ablaze before pushing him to sea. Suddenly, a sea dinosaur destroys Tara's raft, allowing him to escape. Meanwhile, the tribes rejoice at the sight and assume that Tara's life has ended. That night, Sana is busy cooking her dinner on her bonfire when the injured Tara appears. She quickly runs to him and takes him to the cave, leaving her bonfire blazing. The next morning, the rest of the tribesmen venture into the mountains to look for Sana. After hunting for fish, Sana puts another log on her bonfire, creating more smoke that the tribesmen can see. After Tara awakens, he fears that Kingzer's tribe might find them. After she assures him that everything is fine, he suddenly notices the bonfire and quickly steps on it to put it out. However, it's too late because the tribes have found them. To escape, the primitive couple jumps into the water and swims as far as they can. Kingzer orders the tribesmen to follow the couple to the sea. When Tara and Sana finally reach a rock near the shore, they climb quickly to get to the top of the mountain. As the hunters go after them, they hide in a shaded area. While running, Sana slips and falls into the trees, prompting Tara to follow her. When they attempt to go deeper into the forest, they witness two dinosaurs fighting. To avoid the creatures, they run in the other direction, and they eventually reach an arid surface. However, Kane sees them and orders the other tribesmen to run after them. After climbing a mountain, they are surrounded by the tribesmen. Suddenly, the mother Megalosaurus arrives to take Sana away, leaving the poor Tara behind. Back at the seaside, a tribesman ties up Tara for his execution. As the crowd chants, a tribeswoman notices that the water is receding from the coast, exposing the seafloor. Meanwhile, a group of men heads to the shore, where they encounter a dangerous giant crab. From afar, Tara observes an oncoming tsunami, causing panic among the whole tribe. As the primitive people escape, Tara is left tied up, calling for help. Sana then arrives just in time to rescue him before he gets eaten by the crab. Meanwhile, Kingzer stands in the ocean and tries to command the tsunami to stop. As Tara, Sana, Kane, and Ulido get onto the raft, Ayak tries to reach them, but she gets swallowed by the quicksand. Tara tries to save her, but he's too late. As Sana shouts for Tara to return, Kingzer notices and tries to drown her, prompting Tara to stop him. After rescuing Sana, Kane rows the raft to safety, leaving Kingzer, Amon, and the rest of the tribe to drown. After the tsunami ends, the survivors are washed onto the top of a cliff, where they kneel as they witness a beautiful lunar eclipse. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.